The variety of colors between the trees and the forest floor is like a giant mural in autumn, particularly out of cityscapes autumn, also known as fall in North American English, is one of the four temperate seasons. Outside the tropics, autumn marks the transition from summer to winter, in September or March. Autumn is the season when the duration of daylight becomes noticeably shorter and the temperature cools considerably. Day length decreases and night length increases as the season progresses until the winter solstice in December and June. One of its main features in temperate climates is the striking change in color for the leaves of deciduous trees as they prepare to shed. Some cultures regard the autumnal equinox as mid-autumn, while others with a longer temperature lag treat the equinox as the start of autumn. In the English-speaking world, autumn traditionally began with Lamas Day and ended around Halloween, the approximate midpoints between midsummer, the autumnal equinox, and midwinter. Meteorologists use a definition based on Gregorian calendar months. With autumn being September, October, and November in the Northern Hemisphere, and March, April, and May in the Southern Hemisphere. In North America, autumn traditionally starts with the September equinox and ends with the winter solstice. Popular culture in the United States associates Labor Day, the first Monday in September, as the end of summer and the start of autumn. Certain summer traditions, such as wearing white, are discouraged after that date. As daytime and nighttime temperatures decrease, trees change color and then shed their leaves. In traditional East Asian solar term, autumn starts on or around 8th of August and ends on or about 7th of November. In Ireland, the autumn months according to the National Meteorological Service, Met Aaron, are September, October, and November. However, according to the Irish calendar, which is based on ancient Gaelic traditions, autumn lasts throughout the months of August, September, and October, or possibly a few days later, depending on tradition. In the Irish language, September is known as Mean Foam Hair and October as Jerry Foam Hair. Persians celebrate the beginning of the autumn as Meirigan to honor Mithra. Autumnal scene with yellow, orange and red leaves on trees and fallen on the ground The word autumn is derived from Latin autumnus. Archaic autumnus, possibly from the ancient Etruscan root autu and has within it connotations of the passing of the year. Alternative etymologies include Proto-Indo-European H3 Yug or H2 Sos. After the Greek era, the word continued to be used as the Old French word autumn or autumn in Middle English, and was later normalized to the original Latin. In the medieval period, there are rare examples of its use as early as the 12th century, but by the 16th century, it was in common use. Before the 16th century, harvest was the term usually used to refer to the season, as it is common in other West Germanic languages to this day. However, as more people gradually moved from working the land to living in towns, the word harvest lost its reference to the time of year and came to refer only to the actual activity of reaping. And autumn, as well as fall, began to replace it as a reference to the season. The alternative word fall for the season traces its origins to Old Germanic languages. The exact derivation is unclear, with the Old English fiel or fielan and the Old Norse fall all being possible candidates. However, these words all have the meaning to fall from a height and are clearly derived either from a common root or from each other. The term came to denote the season in 16th century England, a contraction of Middle English expressions like fall of the leaf and fall of the year. Compare the origin of spring from spring of the leaf and spring of the year. During the 17th century, English emigration to the British colonies in North America was at its peak, and the new settlers took the English language with them. While the term fall gradually became nearly obsolete in Britain, it became the more common term in North America. The name back end, a once common name for the season in Northern England, has today been largely replaced by the name autumn. Association with the transition from warm to cold weather, and its related status as the season of the primary harvest, has dominated its themes and popular images. In Western cultures, personifications of autumn are usually pretty, well-fed females adorned with fruits, vegetables and grains that ripen at this time. Many cultures feature autumnal harvest festivals, often the most important on their calendars. Still extant echoes of these celebrations are found in the autumn Thanksgiving holiday of the United States and Canada, and the Jewish. Sukkot holiday with its roots as a full moon harvest festival of tabernacles. There are also the many festivals celebrated by indigenous peoples of the Americas tied to the harvest of ripe foods gathered in the wild, the Chinese mid-autumn or moon festival, and many others. The predominant mood of these autumnal celebrations is a gladness for the fruits of the earth mixed with a certain melancholy linked to the imminent arrival of harsh weather. 
This view is presented in English poet John Keats' poem to Autumn, where he describes the season as a time of bounteous fecundity, a time of mellow fruitfulness. In North America, while most foods are harvested during the autumn, foods usually associated with the season include pumpkins and apples, which are used to make the seasonal beverage apple cider. Autumn, especially in poetry, has often been associated with melancholia. The possibilities and opportunities of summer are gone, and the chill of winter is on the horizon. Skies turn gray, the amount of usable daylight drops rapidly, and many people turn inward, both physically and mentally. It has been referred to as an unhealthy season. Similar examples may be found in Irish poet W. B. Yeats' poem The Wild Swans at Cool, where the maturing season that the poet observes symbolically represents his own aging self. Like the natural world that he observes, he too has reached his prime and now must look forward to the inevitability of old age and death. French poet Paul Verlaine's Chanson d'Automne is likewise characterized by strong, painful feelings of sorrow. Kitsu Autumn, written in September 1819, echoes this sense of melancholic reflection but also emphasizes the lush abundance of the season. The song Autumn Leaves, based on the French song Les Foyes Mortes, uses the melancholic atmosphere of the season and the end of summer as a metaphor for the mood of being separated from a loved one. Autumn is associated with Halloween, and with it a widespread marketing campaign that promotes it. The Celtic people also use this time to celebrate the harvest with a time of feasting. At the same time though, it was a celebration of death as well. Crops were harvested, livestock were butchered, and winter was coming. Halloween, 31st of October, is in autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Television, film, book, costume, home decoration, and confectionery businesses use this time of year to promote products closely associated with such a holiday, with promotions going from late August or early September to 31st of October. Since their themes rapidly lose strength once the holiday ends and advertising starts concentrating on Christmas. In some parts of the Northern Hemisphere, autumn has a strong association with the end of summer holiday and the start of a new school year particularly for children in primary and secondary education. Back-to-school advertising and preparations usually occurs in the weeks leading to the beginning of autumn. Carnival, Easter and the International Workers' Day falls in autumn in the Southern Hemisphere. Thanksgiving Day is a national holiday celebrated in Canada, in the United States, in some of the Caribbean islands and in Liberia. Thanksgiving is celebrated on the second Monday of October in Canada and on the fourth Thursday of November in the United States, and around the same part of the year in other places. Similarly named festival holidays occur in Germany and Japan. Television stations and networks, particularly in North America, traditionally begin their regular seasons in their autumn, with new series and new episodes of existing. Series debuting mostly during late September or early October. A sweeps period takes place in November to measure Nielsen ratings. American football is played almost exclusively in the autumn months, at the high school level, seasons run from late August through early November, with some playoff games and holiday rivalry contests being played as late as Thanksgiving. In many American states, the championship games take place in early December. College football's regular season runs from September through November, while the main professional circuit, the National Football League, plays from September through to early January. Summer sports, such as Major League Soccer, Canadian football, stock car racing, tennis, golf, cricket, and professional baseball, rap. Up their seasons in early to late autumn, Major League Baseball's Championship World Series is known popularly as the Fall Classic. Likewise, professional winter sports, such as ice hockey, basketball, and most leagues of association football in Europe, are in the early stages of their seasons during autumn. American college basketball and college ice hockey play teams outside their athletic conferences during the late autumn before their in-conference schedules begin in winter. The Christian religious holidays of All Saints Day and All Souls Day are observed in autumn in the Northern Hemisphere. Since 1997, autumn has been one of the top 100 names for girls in the United States. In Indian mythology, autumn is considered to be the preferred season for the goddess of learning Saraswati, who is also known by the name of Goddess of Autumn. In Asian mysticism, autumn is associated with the element of metal, and subsequently with the color white, the white tiger of the west, and death and mourning. Autumn coloration at the Calavan Puisto Park in Pori, Finland. Although color change in leaves occurs wherever deciduous trees are found, colored autumn foliage is noted in various regions of the world, most of North America, Eastern Asia, Europe, Southeast, 
south and part of the midwest of Brazil, the forest of Patagonia, eastern Australia and New Zealand's South Island. Eastern Canada and New England are famous for their autumnal foliage, and this attracts major tourism for the regions. Autumn at Wikipedia's sister projects. Thanks for watching.